This time on Bulletproof Tactical, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the Remington Sportsman 58. I know a lot of viewers might be saying, what is the Sportsman 58? So that's exactly what we're going to get into right now. I got a great deal on this shotgun, and I think it's going to be a really interesting review. So continue watching. Alright, so the Remington Sportsman 58, you guys can see a really nice shotgun with engravings. You guys might not have heard of it, or if you search for this video, you might be interested in buying one or have one yourself. So it's a really, really interesting shotgun. I picked this up for a great deal, and uh, it's a really, really interesting uh, shotgun in my opinion. Why? Because this was Remington's first semi-auto shotgun. It's gas-operated, so all the gas... Uh, operating system is located here in the mag tube limiting its capacity to only two rounds so that does kind of sound like a, a bummer for you guys right now but once again this firearm was produced from 1956 to 1963 so for its days this was a pretty interesting a pretty uh, big deal back in the day so you guys can see they even went all out with the engravings. The furniture looks really nice. It's obviously seen better days. We have some scratches here. We have some rust marks. But once again, I paid a really, really low price for this shotgun. So, you know, uh, the condition is not what I was uh, concerned about. But if not, the, the historic value this, this shotgun uh, basically has. So let's go ahead and get into some specs. Let's go ahead and... Uh, take a look at the other side because there are different engravings here uh, you guys can see on this side we do have some dogs uh, another uh, duck and whatnot so let's go ahead and uh, explain <coughs> sorry this firearm does share components with the 870 uh, they came chambered in 12 gauge 16 gauge and 20 gauge in this case we do have the 12 gauge you guys can see it marked here in the barrel we did get the 12 gauge version of it which i'm a big 12 gauge fan so that's really interesting so you guys can see overall really interesting shotgun once again they do share a lot of components with the 870s which are becoming really popular now in the days so the fact that you do get a uh, you know that we do share some components with it we obviously know they're well built you guys can see it is clear for those of you guys who are wondering and uh you know it's just a really really interesting shotgun i was very lucky to find one so right now in the resale value i've seen these things auction anywhere within low 400s all the way up to 800 900 dollars depending on the condition for this one obviously the price i paid for it was a steal but uh you know giving the conditions giving that it has seen better days i'm pretty sure uh i'm not going to be able to get 900 dollars out of it but then again you know it is a very very interesting shotgun giving the fact that it was the first one that ever uh was produced that had this semi-auto gas operating system so let's go ahead and take it down to the range let's see if it still runs flawlessly uh I oiled it up a little right now because, uh, you know, I want to prevent it from uh, rusting out even more. So let's go ahead and uh, take it down to the range. Continue watching. All right, so we're back from the range. So you guys might be asking yourself, Bulletproof Tactical, how did the range go? Uh, how was it at the range? Let me go ahead and give you guys my experience. 
Uh, the firearm did experience one failure to feed. I'm not going to blame the shotgun for that because it was extremely dirty. It seems like it hasn't been cleaned in a in a very, very long time, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and take it apart. I'm going to clean it up. And let me go ahead and tell you guys my experience. I really, really appreciate shooting an older firearm that still functions properly, uh, except for that one failure to feed. But once again, I think it's basically because, you know, it's kind of dirty, hasn't been cleaned in a while. But, you know, two round capacity, you get multiple shots quick, way faster than a pump action shotgun. So I imagine this thing being super uh, high tech back in its days, you know, it was definitely a novelty shotgun back in, uh, once again, these came out from 1956 to 1963. So you can just imagine having one of these and hunting duck back then. This must have been the real deal. You know, I bet a lot of people opted to buy the Remington Sportsman 58. Uh, once again, I really appreciate always seeing a engraved firearm. You know, it's just something that, uh, you know, manufacturers used to do to prove that this was the real deal. You know, every time you see something engraved, basically means they went all out on it. So, you know, giving the fact that fast forward in the year 2022, this thing is still around, still functioning and still in relatively great shape. I thought it was a really good, good uh, firearm and a great deal that I got on it. So let me know what you guys think about it. Shoot me a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to Bulletproof Tactical, like the video, and we'll see you on the next one.